Here we are, Worth Avenue, gonna get ready to do some beach yoga. Well, actually, we're not doing yoga on the beach. We're gonna do it on the intercoastal. We got Sarah Claire here. She's one of our primary therapists. And then we have Adam, the clinical director. Uh, we're gonna do yoga. A lot of the clients, they've never done it before. So it's gonna be a good, t a good thing for them to do to even see if they enjoy yoga. Sarah Claire's friend here, she's an instructor. Well, she's not here, but she's gonna be there. And you'll see in the footage coming up, um, it's gonna be a good opportunity for us to just relax. You know, that we're coming towards the end of the week, so we're coming into the weekend, a good opportunity for them to just chill out, relax, and see if they enjoy yoga. Maybe they do, maybe they don't, but at least they can say they did it. So, watch for the footage coming up, and uh, we'll see you later. So you can see here that we're all kind of circled up on the beach and I'm standing there waving my arms around. And the reason that I'm doing a voiceover is because <clears throat> we were filming with the GoPro and it wasn't picking up the audio very well. So I'm just doing a voiceover here to just explain to you what was taking place uh, in this group setting. Just before this, what we were doing is uh, yoga with an instructor, and like I said at the beginning of the video, most people here has never done yoga before. So doing yoga for the first time to them could be awfully intimidating, and especially for people that have a, they set high standards for themselves. And what we were discussing is it's okay to fail, it's okay to not be good at something, but the the fact of the matter is, is that they did it, and they fully understand that just because I'm not good at something doesn't mean that I can't try, and we oftentimes see that in sobriety. People tend to try and get sober multiple times, over and over and over, and then they end up getting this feeling that I'm just not good at this and I'm never going to be able to accomplish sobriety. And so they ultimately can feel like a failure. And the more times that you try and the more times that you fail, it's going to be human nature to just feel like, hey, I'm not good at this. I'm going to fail at this. What's the point in even trying again? So when we were discussing this, we were really just talking about how you can utilize your failures as a good thing and understand that just because I'm not good at this doesn't mean that I can't do it. And the only way that I'm going to get better at this is by doing it again and again and again. So that was what we were covering in this group setting utilizing our failures as a good thing, harnessing those, understanding that we could pick ourselves back up and we can go at it again and ultimately we will succeed and we're going to feel very good about ourselves when we do accomplish it.